welcome students to class 4 lesson 3 addition solutions to the worksheet on estimate and rounding off question 1 round off each of the following to the nearest thousands the numbers were 15896 the second number was 20268 and the third number was 37624 now to round off to the nearest thousands we will look at the digit at hundreds place so we have 8 2 and 6 at the hundreds place now we will compare these digits with 5 if it is greater than 5 we will add 1 to the digit on thousands place if it is less than 5 we will not add anything After we have done this, we will convert all the digits after the thousands place. That is, ones, tens, and hundreds place to zero. Let us look at the first one. One five eight nine six. Eight is at the hundreds place. Eight is greater than five, so we will add one to five at the thousands place. And all the numbers on the right of thousands place will be converted to zero. That is, eight, nine, and six will be converted to zero. So the answer we will get is one six. Zero zero zero. The next number we have two at the hundreds place. Two is less than five, so we will not change the digit at the thousands place. And whatever is on the right of the thousands place, that is the hundreds, tens, and ones place, we will convert those to zero. Answer would be two zero 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 zero. The third one, three seven six two four. Six is at the hundreds place. Six is greater than five. We will increase the digit at the thousands place by one. That is, seven will become eight, and all the digits on the right, that is six two four, will become zero. The answer will be three eight zero zero zero. The second part of the question, we have to round off to the ten thousands place. So we will look at the thousands place. In the first case, four is there at the thousands place. Four is less than five. So we will not change the digit at the ten thousands place, and all the digits on the right of the ten thousand place, that is four, two, five, six, will get converted to zero. Answer will be twenty thousand or two zero 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 zero. Next one we have seven at the thousands place. Seven is greater than five, so we will add one to the digit on the ten thousand place. Three will become four, and all the digits after three on the right will become zero. So the answer is going to be four. Zero 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 zero, or forty thousand. The last one we have four at the thousands place. Four is less than five, so we will not change the digit at the ten thousands place. All digits on the right of eight will get converted to zero, so the answer is going to be eighty thousand or eight zero 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 zero. Question two: Add three two six nine and two six eight four. Find the actual sum and compare it with the estimated sum. For actual sum, we will write both the numbers, add them, and when we add, we get the answer as five nine five three. To find the estimated sum, we will take the first number three two six nine and then round it off. To round this off, we will look at the hundreds place. Hundreds place is two, so two is less than five. Therefore, we'll not change the digit at the thousands place. It will remain three, and all the digits on the right of the thousands place, that is two, six, and nine, will become zero. So, estimated value of this number will become three thousand. Now, we look at the second number, two, six, eight, four. Here again, we look at the hundreds place. Hundreds place, we have six. Six is greater than five, so we'll add one to the digit at the thousands place, and convert all the digits. On the right of the thousands place to zero, so we will get three thousand as the estimated value. When we add it, we get six thousand. So the actual and the estimated sum are very close to each other. Question three: Seema bought a doll for rupees three eighty five and a bag for rupees seven twenty four. Estimate the cost she has to pay to the shopkeeper, and then compare with the actual cost. So here we look at the information in pieces. As we write the numbers, we have to write the rounded numbers because we have to estimate the cost. First piece of information is Seema bought a doll for rupees three eight five. 
Now we have to round off this 385. We will round this off to the nearest 100. Now in an estimate question, when they ask us to give an estimated amount and they do not specify to which place we have to round off, we round off to the extreme left digit or the greatest place value. Here the greatest place value is 100, so we will round off to the nearest 100. 385, we will round it off to the nearest 100 and it will become 400. So we will have estimated cost of doll is rupees 400. Then the next piece of information is a bag for rupees 724. Now 724 will round off to 700 and the statement will be estimated cost of bag is equal to 700. Then the next statement in the question is estimate the cost she has to pay to the shopkeeper. So to find the estimated cost we will add the two values. Total estimated cost is equal to rupees 400 plus 700. 400 plus 700 is 1100. Then the next thing in the question is and compare with the actual cost. So estimated cost we have got and now we have to compare with the actual cost. So we have to find out the actual cost also. So total actual cost is equal to rupees 385 plus 724 which is equal to 1109. Now we have to compare total cost and estimated cost. So there is hardly any difference and there is a difference of only 9 rupees. So in the end you will write the actual and the estimated cost are very close to each other. Question 4. Find the actual and estimated sum by rounding off to the nearest thousand. Actual sum is 8, 9, 7, 4. And estimated sum will be first we'll round off the numbers 6 2 3 9 in this question they have told us that we have to round off to the nearest thousand so we will look at the hundreds place hundreds place is occupied by 2 in the first number 2 is less than 5 we will not change the digit at the thousands place 6 remains 6 and all the digits after 6 on the right that is 2 3 9 will become 0 so rounding off will give us 6000 the second number is 2 7 3 5 Again, we look at the hundreds place. We have 7. 7 is greater than 5. So, we will increase the thousands place by 1. So, 2 becomes 3. And the other numbers on the right of 2, that, that is 7, 3 and 5 will become 0. So, we will get 3000. Now, when we add, we get 9000. Now, here you can have a look. Both the numbers are quite close. 8, 9, 7, 4 and 9000. This brings us to the end of the solutions of the worksheet on estimate and rounding off. Stay tuned to the channel students. Do go on the channel page and click on the playlist. I have made playlists for class 3, for class 4 and for class 5 maths. These playlists are very useful. You can revise your entire syllabus with the help of these playlists. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.